What's up, yo? I'm back at the beach. This is like a small lagoon here in Phuket. And they have mud skippers here. Now, normally mud skippers are associated with mangroves and mud flats and brackish water. But here there's no sign of mangroves, it's just like a beach area. And I guess this is more like an artificial, yeah, I would say it's an artificial lagoon. Almost like a lake. But they're here, I was surprised to find them. The Salinas specific gravity is 1030 uh, or more. I know it's not very accurate. I know marine people will probably say, oh, you gotta use your fraction meter, but that's what I have. Uh, this hydrometer is showing it to be extremely salty. Probably not what we're like mud skippers are used to, but they're here. There's like a small colony one here. Um, not showing the species, they seem to be pretty small. Uh, if you guys don't know what they are, mud skippers are related to gobies. Well, they actually are gobies, but they're kind of semi terrestrial uh, or semi aquatic, any way you put it. They do need to stay moist though, so you'll see them wetting their eyes once in a while. The only bad part is like they're extremely shy, so every time they see you, they dash. And they have really good eyesight. If you notice their eyes on top of their head, and it kind of like they almost get 360 degree view of what's going on. So it's a very well sought out fish. They can see you from like pretty good distance. Most of the mud skippers are predatory, meat eaters, eating crustaceans, snails. I've seen these guys grazing algae, but that's probably because, you know, why not? They're in the wild, they're hungry, so. But there should be plenty of them for, uh, for them to eat. This lagoon is full of uh, small hermit crabs, regular crabs, tiny fish, so. The only thing that kind of scares me is salinity, it's just so high. I must say this is probably the best or the most interesting fish that I've seen in Thailand. One of the most interesting fish in the world because where do you find a fish that runs, runs around and lives on land? Evolution in action. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if like a couple hundred thousand years from now they'll move on somewhere in the forest. You never know.